What my mind can envision, my body can master. Hi, my name is Mark Akiyama. I ride for Crown in SCU. This is the vertical accelerator. I work here during the summertime. Watch SCU TV. Later. <laughs> City where no pity is shown. Ain't no joke when our mama's handkerchief is soaked with the tears because our baby's life has been revoked. The bond is broke, got so choke up and foe. Kiss on the clothes, I missed our wheels, I can't reform. No God, like Hogan's poke is so no sin. Back, kick, back and watch the world get bushwhacked. Use that in your neighborhood, it's under attack. Put away the crack before the crack. You will wait, you need to be there when your baby's old enough to be late.
Bob, this issue caused quite a stir last May when the city council, after several public meetings, agreed to ban skateboards in parts of downtown Pensacola. And tomorrow night, the city council will review statistics from the first seven months of the skating ban. You used to see a lot more of this in downtown Pensacola, but the city council made skating illegal in the area around Palafox Street. Now the statistics are in. During the first seven months of the ban, Pensacola police received 25 complaints and wrote three citations. Others got warnings. City council members say the numbers prove the skate ban is working. We put that uh, tentative uh, boundaries in and said that if that didn't work, that we'd have to expand them. And I think that the young people realized that, that there was a problem that they needed to address, and they did, so that it wouldn't get expanded to a broader area. The owners of the Iron Gate Gallery were among the first to complain to the city about skaters damaging property and scaring customers. Nine months later, most merchants say the skate ban has helped. It's, it's showed an improvement down here, and it, it's uh, helped to eliminate some of the damage that the kids are doing. They're unfortunate, though. The Skate Shack opened in West Pensacola shortly after the ban. Skaters here call the ban discrimination and say it has to go. I think it's wrong, you know, and I can't think of any other town or city I've ever lived there or been to that's ever done anything like this. And it was a good surprise to me that my hometown would do that. And tomorrow night, the city's committee of the whole will take a look at the statistics and possibly debate this ordinance. And the Florida Highway Patrol points out that riding any kind of a toy vehicle in the road is illegal. Bye.